Okay. So we turn on left versus all your mound right. Okay. Let me just get those names in there, and that should be us good to go. So this is Hill Fort. Um, obviously, you know, a bit of a different map. It's the only map in the map pool that has this kind of like center uh, terrain location. So they're going to have to, you know, build up to attack each other or, you know, use mortars, which I mean, from my understanding of what you and uh, Fluffy were telling me yesterday is probably not the best option. Yeah, because on this map with the central terrain, uh, they can just build um, and here on the bottom of the map. And uh, basically, the enemy has no way of getting um, to shoot that end here. Unless they do uh, extremely big tours, which is probably something we're going to be seeing. Uh, okay, and uh, let's just bring the commanders up as well. So it looks like it's Warthog versus Warthog. Um, yes. And yeah, I mean, they're both doing pretty similar things so far. I guess there's like one extra mine on the side of the Vioma. But the attack is yeah. going to be faster on Ethan's side. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, they're both doing cannons from the rocket things. Maybe howitzers. Makes sense. I mean, yeah, because you and Fluffy were showing me this map yesterday, and it seems like it's largely about you want to just go howitzer, one or two cannons. Yeah, you basically just want to go high, like um, like the Lyoma is doing, the Lyoma. Uh, which is places buzz out here, but um, with either cannons or or so you gotta overcome the terrain basically. So you could actually build, build laser on this map, but same thing, you gotta build high. Yeah, and I assume if you go high, then you're leaving yourself very open to getting. Yeah, punished. exactly. That's why they're both building buzzes because uh, that will happen. <laughs> yeah, a lot, probably. Oof. Okay, so yeah, you know, Buzzsaw came up, but yeah, it gets knocked down pretty much straight away, and that tower is actually wobbling even now. Yeah, because he didn't really reinforce the, um, the front. Like, we showed you yesterday how to uh, do reinforcement, like in structure and everything. Uh, he hasn't done any of that yet. Uh, which means he... He's pretty late now. Yeah, that is that is a lot of damage to take this early on in the game. Like losing that buzzsaw and all of that, you know, material up at the top. Yeah, it's not that much, but the, the structure um, can really cost a lot to make. Uh, Ethan flubbing a shot though, just hits the hill in the center. Yeah, he tried to to go for the turbines. Try to look at things. And I think that's cannons coming up on both sides. Uh, yes, two cannons for Ethan and only one for the Lioma, with uh, him actually being a bit late on his placement. Yeah, and, ooh, there's that one piece of bracing that's already flashing red. Yeah, that's why he he's making uh, better foundations, like right now. And he got a shot. Managed to get a cannon, but the Leoma placed a turbine in front. Oh, nicely done. Yeah, you don't want to lose the cannon this early. Second cannon's coming up now, but... Too late. Really too late. Yeah, this might be over fairly quick. I mean, especially, like, if any kind of pressure comes on to, like, that structure, like, it's just going to collapse as well. I think, in terms of collapsing, he should be kind of fine now. Especially on all this hiding con uh, adding counter weight. Um, so you can see he's selling the metal depot, which means if one of the scanners gets shut down, he, he won't be able to rebuild one. 
Oh, first cannon shot comes in. Turbines go down. I think that's okay, though. Because he has enough energy to fire back, at least. Yeah, but that's kind of not okay. Like, turbines cost really a lot of metal to, to work around. He doesn't have a sniper. There's a buzzer coming up. He is, he is in a really tight spot. Oh, I managed to, uh, to use the active though, but uh, doesn't manage to bring a cannon down. Yeah, that did not deal nearly enough damage. But so, ooh, As you can out. see, yeah, that, that was going to happen. Oh, it actually just hits the core. It didn't really hit it, it exploded in the ground. And then the batteries uh, exploded as oh. well, and it changed reaction to, to the core. Okay. I mean, I, I, in my books, that's still hitting the core. Just... Yeah. Not Collapse. quite directly, but yeah, drops the structure drops on the batteries and everything goes boom, so... Yeah, that's really the main main difference between normal RGS and Forks and Forks. The whole base can collapse in 10 seconds. Um, Uh, they're asking if they're at the tournament now. No, they're... Yeah, you're in the lower bracket now. But, uh, yeah, well played there by Ethan. Uh, you know, having a much more... He, he deserves his reputation, I guess. Yeah, uh, yeah, like, you know, not being risky and building the buzzsaw that high and, you know, taking out his opponent's buzzsaw. Yeah. Okay.